<clears throat> Hello everyone, Toy Game Collector here, bring you another toy to review. What am I looking at today? We are looking at a rare toy from the 90s. Well, it's rare to find complete. This is not complete. I'll explain that in a moment. This is the Sea Duck from Disney's Tailspin. Oh yeah, Tailspin. Oh yeah, oh, Tailspin. Friends for life through thick and thin with another Tailspin. Oh yeah, tailspin, oh we yo, tailspin. All the trouble we get in with another tail to spin, spin it. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing the whole song. So yeah, this is the Sea Duck. This was Baloo's plane from Tailspin. Yeah, this is Baloo from The Jungle Book, if you ever seen The Jungle Book. This is a weird type of TV show Disney had in the 90s. Basically what the show was about was Baloo, he ran... He was a cargo pilot for a company called Hire for Hire. Well, it was originally Baloo's air service. Then he lost his company because he didn't pay his bills to a bear named Rebecca Cunningham. And she renamed it Hire for Hire. And he was a cargo pilot. He fought air pirates. And uh, he went on crazy adventures. Yeah, this is the toy of his plane. It's a seaplane. But one thing you'll notice, the, the floats for the seaplane are not on this plane. Those are very hard to come by nowadays. I can't find a, a single one for sale online that has those still on, attached. We have a trackable landing gear. So about this thing. In the show, Baloo's sidekick kid, Cloud Kicker, he had this thing called an airfoil, which he would use to surf through the clouds, and he would hold onto this as he surfed through the clouds. So that's the kind of kid he was. It is retractable. Just have this knob right here. Tailspin was a pretty fun show. Was it a perfect show? No, but I enjoyed it. I like it. I have no idea what this thing is for. I guess that's part of the engine or something. I haven't watched Tailspin some time. And we have two propellers. We both spin. We have an opening cockpit, which can hold two Tailspin action figures and playmates. Now there's the cockpit. I don't have any tailspin action figures, but uh, I'm gonna need to put the landing gear out for this. I do have a Darkwing Duck action figure I can try and throw in here. Give me a moment. This thing does not stay up very well. Let's see if Steel Beak will fit in here. I, I tried some Ninja Turtles in here once. They didn't quite fit. No, Steel Beak does not fit in there. Uh, give me a moment. Let's see if Darkwing Duck fits in there. Wait, well, you no, know, Darkwing Duck does fit in there. What about Launchpad? Launchpad fit in here. Let's try him out. Eh. No, he does not because his arms are too long. Yeah, anyway, you would have. You would usually have Baloo sitting here and you would have Kit sitting back there. Or maybe you'd have Rebecca or Molly. Maybe an air pirate, if you really want to get crazy, because they ain't make an iron vulture play set. Yeah. There's really not much to say about the plane. I'm just going to go with a sticker. Okay, it says Sea Duck, dependable courier service. Which is a lie, because Baloo wasn't the best pilot when it came to delivering cargo. He was a great pilot, but he was lazy when it came to delivering. It's a giant sticker. I am missing some stickers, because there's supposed to be some stickers of stars on the wings, which weren't in the TV show, but I don't mind that. And it did not say Tailspin or have this logo on the plane in the TV show either. Yeah, you know, the wings are a little short, but that's what you get for a toy from this time period. You know, you have big action figures and small, somewhat vehicles like this. It works for the time, I guess. I don't really have much to say else to say that. Oh, here's what the door says, Big Beautiful Blue. It did not say that in the TV show, if I'm correct. Right, let's get Darkwing out of there. Oh, I don't really have much else to say about this. Just wanted to show you this interesting toy from the 90s. Well, I guess that about wraps up this review. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time with another toy review. It's Toy Game Collector, signing off.